Live from the headquarters of Ramsey Solutions, it's the Dave Ramsey Show, where debt is dumb, cash is king, and the paid-off home mortgage has taken the place of the BMW as the status symbol of choice. I'm Dave Ramsey, your host, and this is a show that shows you what to do, and if you do it, it will work when it comes to your money. It's a pretty simple idea. If you live on less than you make, you will have more money. If you live on a budget, you will have more money. If you are more generous, you will have a tendency towards more money. If you save and invest, you'll have more money. So your actions cause your ability to win in different areas of your life. Let's pretend you grew up in a family of fat people. Your mama's fat, your daddy's fat, your granny's fat, your grandpa's fat, everybody's fat. So it's in your DNA. Or it's at least in the environment that you grew up in at a minimum, right? Everybody's obese all around you. You have a real tendency towards obesity. Can we agree to that? Yeah. I mean, you grew up in an environment of obesity. Can you choose different habit patterns than your family and affect that? Or are you stuck? Are you just destined and fatalistic and say, that's it, I have to be obese. My family's always been obese. We're always going to be obese. The, the, the such and such family, they're the obese family. You're stuck. Is that the case? Do you believe that? If you do, you're what's called a fatalist. You believe you're stuck. You believe you are destined to losing. I don't believe that. And this show is based on the fact that I truly believe, and I have data to prove it, that when people change their actions because they have new information, because they have hope, when they change their actions, they change their results. Most of us agree that when you plant something in the ground, you will grow that something. If you put corn in the ground, you will grow corn. Don't be shocked that corn comes up instead of beans. You put corn in the ground. The Bible says you reap what you sow. What you plant is what's going to grow in your life. If you plant nothing, you know what happens in your backyard? Weeds. You know what happens in your life when you plant nothing intentionally? Weeds. You don't accidentally get into shape. When you meet someone that has a six-pack and they're completely cut, they're ripped, they look like some kind of Mr. or Mrs. Universe, that was not an accident. It's not an accident. They chose different food. They chose different exercise programs. They chose different volumes of food. Their choices gave them a result. Money's the same way. Now, can you start out with a deficit because of the neighborhood you grew up in, the family you grew up in, the background the way everybody around you your belief system does it affect you and does it start you in a hole yeah some of us start out ahead of others but you can still choose i don't care what color you are i don't care whether you're a democrat or republican i don't care if you're a yankee or you were born in god's country in the south i don't care where you came from you can choose different actions and thereby will choose different results 100% of the time. Is it harder for some than others? Yep. Is it easier for some than others? Yep. Some people are smarter than other people. Some people are better looking than other people. I'm stuck with a face for radio. That's why you don't see my shining head on the Today Show. I'm not pretty enough. We send Rachel to do that. I'm stuck with this. That's fine, though. I'm going to work with what I got. It's the only face I got. I got to work with it. It's the only race I got. I got to work with it. I can't change my race. I got to be this. I'm a hillbilly. I grew up a hillbilly. I'm happy to be a hillbilly. I just want to be a really rich hillbilly. Shut up. Okay. If you want to be a really rich Yankee, I'll help you. I don't care. This is all about making different decisions. And here's the deal. If you figure out what poor people are doing and you do that with money, you're going to be poor people. If you figure out what rich people are doing with money and you do that with money, you're going to eventually be rich people. If you're rich and you do poor people stuff with money, you'll become poor. 
If you're poor and you do rich people stuff with money long enough, you will become wealthy. Regardless of where you start, your actions will take you to a destination. Some faster, some slower, but they will take you to a destination. So figure out what rich people are doing. Figure out what skinny people are doing. If you want to be skinny, do skinny people stuff. If you want to be rich, do rich people stuff. Figure out what are the actions. I mean, think about it. What do poor people do? Now, I know poor people sometimes get stepped on by other people. I know they get kicked. I, when I was broke, I got people stepping all over me. I, got, I still got boot prints on my back from the way some stupid bankers treated me. I understand sometimes there's oppression from the outside. I understand sometimes you are, quote, disadvantaged. I am not mad about that. I just don't want you to stay there, regardless. So stay out of the payday lender. You notice they don't put payday lenders in the rich end of town. You know why? Because rich people wouldn't go in there ever. They would starve to death before they went in there and paid 800% interest. They don't see tote the note lots, do you? You don't see rent to own, do you? Lotto tickets. Some 75 to 80% of lotto tickets are purchased in lower income zip codes. Apparently, it's not a rich people thing. If, if, if winning the lotto was a wealth to, a way to riches, you'd see people with Rolexes standing in line. And they drove up in a Mercedes or they'd pay somebody to stand in line for them. Rich people don't play the lotto, honey. Oh, occasionally a few of you do, but it's just a throwback from back when you were poor. In general, the rich zip codes don't sell a lot of lottery tickets. Well, they don't need it. No, they figured out it doesn't work, stupid. It doesn't work. This is not rocket science. Payday lending doesn't work for you. It makes them rich. What do rich people do? They buy nice items, high-quality items, used, and they pay cash and they buy the item for their own use and utilitarian value not to show off. They drive a two-year-old or older Mercedes or Beamer because they don't really care what you think. They might drive a 25-year-old one because they don't care what you think. They don't live in a house for you. They live in a house for them. They don't go on vacations so they can put it on Facebook and show you. They go on vacations for them. They don't live to impress other people. Big hat, no cattle. That's what they say in Texas about people living to impress other people. Stop acting rich. Stop it. So, you want to be rich? Do rich people stuff. I don't care where you start. That's your only shot, baby. It's the only variable you can control. We can't control Washington. We can't control prejudice. We can't control politics. We can't control the structural problems with the economy. But you can control your freaking choices. You get to choose. Don't fall into the hopelessness of fatalism. It's a broken, diseased religion, and it'll kill your butt. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.